He is known for his worldwide concert activity, which includes over 150 CDs, broadcast, and television shots. He is recognized for his performances as a soloist and nickel harpa player in prestigious venues such as Carnegie Hall and the Alti Opera Frankfurt. His name is Marco Ambrosini. In the realm of music, one name stands out as a true legend, Marco Ambrosini, a remarkable soloist and nickel harpa player. With his debut performance at the prestigious Alla Scala Theatre in Milan, Ambrosini's remarkable talent captured the attention of audiences worldwide. His concert repertoire encompassed performances for the Royal Swedish Concert Agency, the Alti Oper Frankfurt, and renowned venues such as the Philharmonie in Cologne, Berlin, and Moscow. He even graced the iconic Carnegie Hall in New York, showcasing his extraordinary musical prowess. But Ambrosini's musical journey didn't stop at solo performances. He also collaborated with various ensembles, delving into different genres and eras of music. From early music and Baroque ensembles to contemporary compositions, Ambrosini's versatility knew no bounds. His impressive worldwide concert activity is a testament to his dedication and passion for music. Throughout his career, Ambrosini has left an indelible mark on the music industry, recording over 150 CDs and making appearances on broadcast and television programs. His musical talent has taken him to the stage as a composer, a soloist, and as a member of esteemed ensembles such as the Catharco Early Music Consort, the Ensemble Oni Wittars, Els Trobadors, and many more. With collaborations that span across a wide range of musical styles, Ambrosini's contributions to the world of music are truly profound. In the world of music, Marco Ambrosini made significant contributions as a composer. One of his greatest achievements was in the field of publications. Ambrosini's dedication to sharing his knowledge and expertise with others is evident in the various works he authored. In 2011, he published The Search for a Methodology in Devising Exercises Suitable for Different Types of Nickel Harpa, as an e-book in cadence. This publication laid the groundwork for musicians to explore new techniques and approaches when playing the nickel harpa, a traditional Swedish instrument. Ambrosini's commitment to finding innovative ways to teach and practice music shines through in this work. Continuing his exploration of the nickel harpa, Ambrosini released, Nickel Harpa, Exercises for Daily Practice, the following year. This book provided aspiring musicians with a comprehensive set of exercises designed to enhance their skills in playing this unique instrument. It became a valuable resource for nickel harpa players worldwide. In 2013, Ambrosini's focus expanded to include notation and symbols specific to the nickel harpa. His publication, Nickel Harpa Symbols and Notation, served as a guide for musicians to understand and interpret the music written for this instrument. Ambrosini's attention to detail and his passion for preserving the authenticity of the Nickel Harpa's sound made this book an essential reference for enthusiasts. Ambrosini's expertise was not limited to the Nickel Harpa alone. He also delved into transcribing and arranging classical compositions, as demonstrated by his publications of Antonio Vivaldi's works. In 2013, he released, A. Vivaldi, La Primavera, and, A. Vivaldi, La Tuno, both featuring his arrangements of these iconic pieces. These publications allowed musicians to explore these well-known compositions in a fresh and exciting way. In 2018, Ambrosini's love for early music led him to publish Orlando Gibbons, Fantasies of Two, Three, and Six Parts. This collection presented transcriptions of the works of Orlando Gibbons, a renowned English composer of the 16th century. Ambrosini's dedication to bringing lesser-known musical gems to the forefront enabled musicians to appreciate the beauty and complexity of Gibbon's compositions. In conclusion, Marco Ambrosini's publications were a testament to his passion for music education and his commitment to sharing his knowledge with others. Through his works, he not only expanded the repertoire for the nickel harpa but also provided valuable resources for musicians seeking to enhance their skills and explore different musical genres. Ambrosini's contributions to the field of music publications continue to inspire and educate musicians around the world. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.